This video, we will be going through the Hilo High School Registration Guide in order to assist you in selecting the best courses to fit your graduation requirements as well as your personal interests. You should have received a copy of the 2017-2018 Hilo High School Registration Guide. We will go through this guide and highlight specific information. General information is provided on pages 2 through 4. Page 2, General Info. Grade Level Promotion, Graduation, Commencement Exercises, and PTP. Page 3, Hilo High Student Activities, Community Development, and Civic Engagement. List of Clubs and Community Service, Career Internship Programs. Page 4, Graduation Requirements. As you pick your courses, especially your electives, please keep the Schedule Change Policy on page 5 in mind. It states, One of Hilo High's learner outcomes is that students will act as responsible citizens in the community, state, nation, and global society. With this in mind, students should make careful, thoughtful decisions during registration. In order to maximize classroom learning and minimize disruption, students and parents should be aware of that. Schedule changes are allowed during the first two weeks after the start of the first semester. Requests for changes to second semester schedules may be submitted during the two weeks before and two weeks after the start of the second semester. Schedule changes may be made for the following reasons. Incomplete schedule, credit previously received for the course, incorrect level placement, course required for graduation, scheduling error, same course on the schedule, IEP MP team decision, or extenuating circumstances. Once the schedule change period has passed, changes can be made only by administrative approval. The following will apply. If a class change is approved after 50% of the class is completed, the student can only be placed in school service. When a change is made within the same content area, the drop teacher will send the exit grade to the add teacher. No schedule changes will be processed in the fourth quarter. Still uncertain about your course selection? Maybe the table at the bottom of page 5 can help. It recommends the sequence of courses required for graduation that majority of HHS students follow. On page 6, there is information on the various programs that offer dual credit options. These are classes that a student can gain high school credit as well as college credit. Be aware that there may be a cost to some of these programs. In order to see which program fits you, refer to the comparison chart at the bottom. Please see your counselor for more information. On page 7, you will find a table that lists the various courses that fall under specific CTE pathways. The rest of the guide, pages 9 through 25, gives the description of all the courses that may be offered for next school year. Please read the description carefully and ask friends about courses they've taken in order to make the best decision. Do not choose a course that you may not be interested in just because your friends is taking the course. Not liking the course or teacher is not a reason for changing classes. When reading the description, there are two things you will need to write on your registration form. The ACCN number, which is the green arrow, which states TJR1000, and the course title, which is the red arrow, in this case, Army JROTC1. The back page is a worksheet to help you plan out your courses for all of your years here at Hilo High. This is just another method of keeping track of your graduation requirements. Of particular interest, at the bottom, you can use a registration worksheet to list those courses you plan to take next year. It is important that you use this as a practice sheet prior to filling out your official registration form. Before leaving class today, you will receive your official 2018-2019 registration form with your name on it. Please do not lose or destroy this form. In order to get another one, you will need to pay 50 cents and obtain a new one from the registrar's office. You must obtain teacher's signature for higher and appropriate level courses. When complete, obtain parent or guardian signature. Do back to your STARS teacher on Monday, December 11th. If you fail to turn one in, your counselor will choose your classes for you, and you will not be able to change them next school year. Any questions, please see your respective counselor.